we rise in support of the amendments, um, but also to emphasize it's not just about safeguarding the resources themselves, but also the livelihoods of those who depend on those resources. I cannot tell you enough how often we've heard from the fishers, licensed Belizean fishers, uh, lamenting that there is not enough being done to make sure that illegal activity is deterred. We've just come off uh, Reef Week, an annual week to celebrate and champion, as well as highlight the obstacles facing uh, our natural resources and illegal fishing and legal activity on our waters featured prominently. So alongside that though, we do call out that in those discussions, and it's, a, it's been a perennial issue, it has been flagged that having the law is, is where we need to start, but as we've just heard earlier, having the resources to enforce that law and to make sure that that capacity is there is also very real. We continue to be confronted um, in the sector with having um, rising fuel prices, uh, we continue to be confronted with slashed government budgets as cost saving uh, efforts to government agencies, uh, donor communities telling our, our Belizean NGOs that uh, they will not be able to fund fuel. So alongside uh, support for this law, we also call out the continued importance of making sure that clear and present, we're also assisting at every juncture, every opportunity, the resources to make sure that um, the natural capital of this country is being protected and safeguarded, not just for the benefit of those resources themselves, but for the tens of thousands of Belizeans who depend on those resources.